Hello, hello, visionary entrepreneurs, life changers. How are you? Welcome back to our Momentum Monday. Yeah, this is the happiest, happiest Monday time, right? Every Monday we've been on the episode. Uh, today is our 140th episode. We've been inside of our Facebook group, Abundant Entrepreneurs, giving the Momentum Monday every week. And now today our topic is about what are your best gifts to give? And now it's uh, almost like a Christmas time, right? This is a holiday season, almost uh, the happiest time of the year, right? I know some countries, maybe you do not celebrate for Christmas, but it's quite close to New Year, right? The end of uh, 2023, everybody is, uh, I don't know how many of you are looking forward to 2024, maybe not, right? You still want to stay here for a longer time and just maybe feel like, why this year is uh, like really like fleeting so fast? Today about the gift part, right? Uh, it's end of the the year. Many many countries will celebrate for New Year, or whatever, right? It's like a Christmas or New Year, whatever kind of a holidays you may be celebrating, and it's time for us to prepare for our gifts, right? So today let's talk about the, what are your best gifts to give, and today is not just about all those like physical gifts and uh, holiday gifts or birthday gifts to give. Today let's talk about your hidden gifts. Why I'm talking about this topic, right? It's not just because of the holidays. Very interesting. Like recently, I just got the, every week for for the our new episode. I was always always like uh, think about uh, what's my best uh, inspirations recently through different resources, right? And uh, very coincidentally, recently we were talking about uh, gifts, either from my mental skin message or from like even yesterday I was communicating with my daughter. Very interesting. When we finished our badminton, I played with my friends and my daughter attended her badminton class. And we've been practicing badminton since pandemic. Now this is our maybe like two years already. And my daughter loved it. And she's been practicing every week and she really, really wants to improve her skills and wants to play in like tournaments. But yesterday after class, she was quite uh, frustrated where I was driving back home. There was a big shower, like of a like a rain, big rain and dark. And uh, I, I noticed that she, from her voice, from her expression, she was not happy and she's quite like uh, frustrated. So I asked her why. She told me she felt she is um, ordinary. She said, mom, I'm ordinary in everything. And uh, I really want to do some like a, in some place like why am I some of my peers? She said some of my peers, they looked so like from her, their physical experience they looked so well. And when I played badminton, she said when I played badminton, there are so many of the, are my peers. There are so much more ones than me. She said just like everything like because she got frustrated in her badminton playing right and then she related to her physical experience because she during pandemic through pandemic till now she was still like struggling and uh, during pandemic especially she struggled the most with her skin condition like a eczema she got an eczema so very very severe and uh, we used almost the refought it almost uh, two years and then used all these kind of organic ways um, and also holistic ways she finally uh, had this um, eczema condition in her control, but still like a five percentage, maybe um, she still needs to like a, take extra care, like a dry skin, right, with uh, the lotion and everything. So since the pandemic, since uh, her eczema like um, flare up, she had the more sensitive feeling about her physical ex appearance, and she felt like um, she's not pretty. And especially compared with the like now social media stuff, right? All this social media, uh, like uh, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, all this kind of social media is doing all this pretty, pretty people, right? And beautiful people, and she feel more pressure, like so. And now she's a teenager, right? That kind of a special, most sensitive time. She felt like she's not pretty at all. I still remember when she was a kid, just a few years, just a few years ago, when I asked her. Are you pretty? And she said, yes, I'm pretty. I was super happy that she had had that kind of confidence. And she was like, she created her YouTube channel and showed up and every day is like so 
so much like I love that kind of energy and that kind of confidence. But then once she get into her teenager time, right, <laughs> and it's totally different story now. She's more sensitive, care more about other people's like uh, feedback or what impression, right? Impression and like, have more self identity kind of a feeling. And now after did so many things, she feel like my mom, my mom, ordinary everything. Gosh, so I know this is the most special time of our of our life, right? And um, you, you were especially not confident in yourself and care about other people's opinion about you and you have the comparison with other people, your fears, your peers, and then you have the self sabotage of yourself, right? And then through your ad adulthood, how many of you had that experience or maybe still experiencing that? You have the comparison with others, you feel insecurity of yourself, you feel like you are inferior compared with other people, you you feel like you're not great enough and um, you feel um, you are ordinary. How many of you feel like you're ordinary? <laughs> My daughter's conversation with me, you know, reminded me when I was a teenager, I also had that uh, anxiety and self sabotage I told her, I shared my journey with her. I told her it's totally normal. You know, we all went through that kind of stage. When I was young, I also thought like after all this kind of exercise and sports, right? I feel like my uh, like my, my legs were too thick. I feel like it's it's not pretty to wear skirts. I still remember those years. So I tried to just wear all like uh, even though I love the skirts, right? I love those beautiful uh, dresses. I just try to wear long pants to hide my necks, to hide my figure and, and compare with other girls that I did not feel I was pretty. But my daughter was telling me, mom, I look at your pictures when you were young, you were much more prettier than me, like like that, right? So gosh, that's a, that's a very interesting, but also not easy conversation with my daughter. But I feel so, so happy because I'm a coach, because I learned through the way I know how to talk with her and also to encourage her. I shared my uh, journey when I was struggling. And uh, now, so all these years, like uh, learning, right, practicing, I encourage her to, by the way, to read more books. Really, reading more books is the best uh, teaching, best learning, and the best way to gain your wisdom. And uh, I remember I learned a lot of books, and uh, especially through my coaching, not just books, I also learn from those mentors, right? So I gain another life wisdom to recognize myself in the right way, to own my better identity, to have the, especially to align with my purpose, with my gifts in this world. So she said, oh, I'm ordinary in everything. Everything I feel like I'm normal. So I shared with her that you have not, uh, be patient. You have not, you are too young, 15 years old, I told her I found my purpose when I was 35 years old. After I gave the birth to her, she's my second child. I have, uh, I have uh, his uh, brother is uh, 17 years old. My daughter is now 15 years old. So when I was 35 years old, I left the corporate world. I spent uh, half a half a year to learn philosophy, to do the like deep reflection, research, and uh, really connect with who I am and eventually find what is my purpose. And that is now, I really get into the coaching that since 14 years ago now. Now it's like 2023, I started 20, 2009 when I was 30 now. Yeah, you know my age, right? Like so, through those 14 years, I never stopped that, that quest of a life searching. Even though I found my life purpose, but every year I'm going deeper and deeper, learn more and uh, like not just life wisdom right connect more with my inner power with more of my inner beauty not just my outside right i know now i'm a uh, past uh, 50 just 50 years old already that's kind of a magical and also quite a tricky number right and uh, many people will feel like they're old especially for many ladies will feel that panic i do not have that panic i feel like i feel like i do like some people may want to get back to their like uh let's say maybe your teenager year or maybe your college time right even my daughter 15 years old she wants to get back to her elementary school time <laughs> i told her i do not want to go back to any of my younger age i just want to stay now where wherever i am now is perfect i told my daughter wherever you are now is perfect because 
is that you get what you sh you should get, right? Like it's just like on the purpose you should get at that age, specific age. Before 35 years old, I was like a, in the corporate world, in the like a traditional track, I was excellent, but I did not really feel happy. I did not really got my, like what's my life's meaning? Till that year, 35, uh, that's my magical year, I spent that six months time to explore, to learn, to research, to really open my world to the real big world, to the universe. Because previously I only had a very small world, just a corporate world or like just a family corporate, right? It's just like from your home to the corporate, uh, the company, from your home to like downtown Manhattan to Wall Street, home. It's just like two points. And then I did not know much. And since then I start open myself to this real universe and to see, like, to understand philosophy, to understand wisdom, to, uh, to connect with further with my spirituality. And my world is totally opened. It's now, it's like unlimited. My world is unlimited. It's not just two points. It's like a multiple, multiple unlimited dimensions. So I told my daughter, be patient. You need patience. And now you're still too young. Many people, like mom, right, over 35, and then many people, maybe they're, over 50 or even get to the end of their life and never figure out what who they truly are and what is their true life purpose, what's their life's mean. Many of those. And then she said, oh, then what's a, why God created everybody's different? That means like uh, uh, so many people, right? So many uh, people do not really have their life purpose. So many people just live the, just a ordinary life, regular life. I told her, yeah, everyone, has our unique specific purpose and a call and meaning everywhere. God actually is fair. She said, oh, God is not fair. God gave this person and that person like a prettiness, right? Like a, like a beauty and this gift and that gift. Like for example, like I told her, I told her my, one of my role models or one of my, um, let's say, I never really as a fan follow anybody, but only like, for example, uh, I admire Celine Dion. She, had a gift of the voice. I told her, not everybody, majority of people do not have that kind of born gifts, so all very obvious gifts, like with a voice, right? But God is fair, you know, now I told her, Celine Dion Young is struggling with her physical health. She lost her ha most dear husband. She has that pure, beautiful, the, the strongest love in this world, right? And because of that loss of uh, her husband, the love, she just now struggling with her health and emotionally mentally and also physically right and and it's just like uh, i i asked her to like my daughter i said let's pray for her and we need to pray for so many people as well and god's is fair it's like everyone gets your ounce of like your maybe tons of or maybe ounces of your strugglings at different stages of our life so Young was blessed you know at the early stage of her life she's like a found her born gift very early stage when she was just a few years old. She could sing, sing so well with beautiful words, right? And she brought such a great gift to this world. And this gift, by the way, everyone has a gift. And the gift is not from us, it's from God. It's a blessed gift. And now she's struggling. She has a big, big challenges and strugglings. And we need to pray for her. And I pray for that she will stand up again and she will overcome whatever kind of even cancer right people can overcome cancer so i know currently her physical disease is big it's huge for her for her family and i pray for her that she will stand up again and she will overcome whatever physical mental emotional challenges and become who she's blessed to be and own her gift that gift is not just her voice maybe she could not sing again but the gift is much much more i will talk more about that that's true gifts but the hidden gifts sometimes we may find some obvious gifts but we forgot our hidden gifts and Celine Dion may not be able to sing physically right with a physical challenge but she has more beautiful gifts inside of her she may have not fully revealed yet i know she's a faithful person she's a spiritual person and she from her singing from her like sharing i know that she has that gift but now is that time to reveal her big gifts, even bigger than her beautiful voice. Her voice is really like unique. It's almost like unparalleled, like almost like number one, right, in this world. 
But now it's time for her. Maybe it's time God's purpose land. It's time for her to reveal her other, deeper, bigger purpose, which she has not revealed before yet. So I want to bless her. I want to pray for her. But for my daughter, I told her she said, "Oh, everything, everything. I feel like I'm, I'm ordinary." I said, "Man, baby, you have so many hidden gifts. Even you have not real." Re- Realize yet? I saw you. I saw your gifts, but I will not share with you too much because till you can really reveal it, right? You will reveal it by yourself. Then you will really own it. So now I know she's struggling. I I told her like, God bless those top top a few. Maybe like a majority of people will be mediocre and、uh, they will just go through. As God just created so many lives, right? So many lives, and everyone has our special, special gifts. Some of them, even mediocre life, they still have some special gifts to give to people around them. Different people have different call, different impact, different influence, different scale of like like impact, right? So, and they they will just feel that. People, all mediocre people live their mediocre life. They will not feel bothered much. To reveal that big gifts, right? Because they give, for example, you were given this much gifts, you reveal that, you give that to your people around you. That's good enough for your life. And if I have this kind of a gifts, and more gifts, you give more. So all our life's purpose and、uh, like meaning is really to reveal whatever level of gifts we have, and to give more. And I also. My my daughter like the, the other question you may see like my daughter say oh then God is not fair right She, he gives this person or that person so much more than give to us right like like we have this little or somebody get not big and God is not fair I I told my daughter actually God is fair everyone so I told her I recommend her the book like I just finished that book right a, a miracle equa- equation and just the two secrets. For anybody to gain the success in any area of your life, just two secrets. Like I, one is like, a, one is the unwavering faith. Another one is your extraordinary efforts. Only two, only two. Okay, in any area of your life, you can use these two secrets. Make that two decision. I told her, if you feel you are ordinary, in any in any area, but p- pick just pick one area you really really want to be. Come, extraordinary! You really want to stand out. You really want to feel like you're special in that area. Just choose one area, right? I said, do not be、uh, too much. Just choose one area now that you really want to focus on to improve yourself.、Uh, for example, I said, maybe not necessary by badminton. If you really want to improve in badminton, I know now you you feel like you played just so so, right? Not outstanding. You could not even attend tournament. But if you have that faith. Unwavering faith, really want, really, really want to improve in this area, and you put extraordinary efforts. And we do not just play one time, like two hours. One, let me see, actually one hour. That's um, let me see how long, how much time she play? Oh, two hours. Yeah, five to seven p.m. Two hours a week. That's too little, right? If you re- that's just like for ordinary exercise. But if you really want to be good, you need maybe practice. Two or three times. I'm just giving an example, right? Or maybe like as much time you want as time you can spend. I told her like example like Mark Jordan, and、uh, for example Ali, in different areas, right? Those famous ones in sports. If you really want to be good, or did ordinary, or, or originally I told her, those ones, those most famous ones originally, they were even rejected by their coach because they were just ordinary, but until they put their faith. And their extraordinary efforts, consistently, persistently, to practice, and then they become they become outstanding, right? And then they become famous. So I told her those examples. That's why you also need to read more books, so you you could learn all those those kind of examples, right? So you could get inspired. So you will not give up when you feel like you are ordinary. So that's just one story with my daughter, and eventually she feels much better, and she felt like, oh, okay, I need to put more efforts. I need to choose. Which area I need to really put more efforts, right? And、um, and also build up the faith. And definitely, <laughs> I told her you need patience and you need also like work on yourself. Oh yeah, I I reviewed. I remember Sunday during Sunday I I watched a live event and、uh, I put some notes. 
from a mentor from a financial industry. He was at the beginning also ordinary, felt like ordinary, right? But he's a faithful person. That's a, that makes him different, and because he has he has a faith, and he also he's a super responsible person for his family. He get married, and、uh, his wife wants to. Give like a birth to eventually six children, even though he wants like a simple small family. But his wife, he respected his wife, and wife give six lives, right? Give birth to six lives, so they had six children. So he he as a responsible husband and also father, he had to put efforts to afford and support his family, right? And then so he got into financial industry. So he put all this kind of consistent efforts into it. Day in and day out, it's hard, right? It's very hard, but he went through through thousands of years, and、um, he worked in like a company for some years, over ten, he said twelve or fourteen years, and then he's with a few partners, they started their own company, and their own financial company, and till today, through thousands of years, works of this company, they build up this company in the industry, a well-known brand, and he become multi multi. Millionaire, and his family now expanded to from the six children to twenty-four grandchildren, and their family owned so much through his thousands of years of a consistent, persistent, extraordinary, faithful work. He supported not just his family; his family owned so much wealth. They had their ranch. They had their like now they have a、uh, ten horses, and then now his wife. Is building a new build, new big building with all this kind of like a theater, like a sports facilities, like for their grandchildren. They have a big family, right? So that's a, such an inspiring story. I took quite some notes and I shared with my kids. I could not, like, like could not help, right? To just share with my kids and some of his words. He said at the beginning his business had only three persons. Guess what? The three persons is was,、uh, like he said in his words. He said. It's me, myself, and I. <laughs> the three persons at the beginning. He did that at the beginning, and he rented the office all by himself. Like during thousands of years ago, pay. He said twenty five hundred a month for the office, for all the furnitures, for the telephone, all this kind of you know like office stuff, right? And by himself, twenty five hundred bucks during that time, thousands of years ago. It's super expensive and a big burden for him, but he was committed to it and worked day in day out and make it, make it through. And then that's like old story, right? But that's so. I still remember some of his words. He said, "If it's if it is to be, it is up to me." I still remember that, and、uh, and he said that.、Uh, So many great inspiration. Let me see if I can still remember it. I took the notes on my cell phone, and I shared it with my group, and also shared it with my with my, my kids. I remember he said the five important things. Yeah, he said five most important things: the company, the products, right? The company products, the system, um, the what else? The system and、uh, the. The he said that the compensation system, yeah, and then the last one, the most important one, the last is actually the most important one. He said is you, work on you, on you. If you do not work, your business will not work. This totally applies to our entrepreneurs and business owners, right? So,、uh, and、um, you you maybe heard this, and、uh, many other mentors mentioned about this as well. It's like a, also this mentor mentioned. It's like a ten percent, like、uh, the ten percent is.、Uh, Like the condition or the limitation, or any kind of a things, environmental things decide your success. It's ten percent from the outside, from the environment, but ninety percent from you, really. So I I use that to share with my exactly with my daughter yesterday when we had that conversation. I said, remember I shared with that inspiration from that mentor, from his speaking, ten percent from outside. Now you were thinking about other people are like prettier than you, more outstanding than you, right? Play badminton than you, better than you, and that's actually that environmental forces is just like ten percent, but the ninety percent depends on you, your decision. Are you making decision that you want to improve in that specific area, and are you 
like willing or committed to put that extraordinary efforts inside of it to make that progress and to make the outstanding results right it's all depends on you like i told her right now for example if you feel frustrated you feel like your spirit is down and i noticed that i know i told her i noticed that you had that kind of a negativity thinking during your practice i see that i saw that from your face uh, like a facial expression and your practice just express that and then you did not play well when you had that kind of like a down feeling and uh, negativity right 90 percent decided your results and she maybe she got inspired i hope she got inspired then she's mm. then she did not complain anymore i hope she got that i hope she got that maybe not 100 percent but she will get it and and that's like a seed so i hope i planted some seeds in her and she could she could understand that it's majority from her it's decided by herself so i want to share this to you as well today about our gifts story about about a gifts story message it's like do you feel sometimes right maybe sometimes we are all human beings i sometimes could have that kind of challenge as well to either um like you could help right to compare with other people or maybe not just your peers but your mentors your role models right you want to compare with them and sometimes maybe you feel that kind of a pressure or stress like you're not as good as them or you are ordinary in some areas right you just feel sometimes could feel that way so how many how many of you be honest right you you may sometimes time from time feel that i'm ordinary compared with other people or, or even compare with my vision with my dreams right and you you may feel frustrated like my daughter did like sometimes occasionally need it but i told her my daughter now i'm 95 percent feel abundant majority of the time i told her my hidden gifts what was my hidden gifts like i told her two ways right one is through your own feedback or feeling but when more when you maybe sometimes when people were young or the the wisdom is not enough they may not feel that kind of a strong self affirmation or confidence about your own hidden gifts right you, you have not fully revealed it yet then get the feedback from other people like i reminded my daughter right I said i told her remember your friend told you not just one friend but quite some friends told her that she had a great um uh, intuition and sense and uh, she has sometimes could uh, like could even like predict predict what will happen right because she has that a strong intuition and she has that a sense sense what sense will happen and the majority of the time it's right so she was she was like showing off that to me right when she was excited and positive now and then yesterday i reminded her remember your friends told you right many of your friends told you you have strong intuition and many times you could predict the things well and you have that empathy with your friends and many times you could give them provide them like your like psychological therapy or encouragement to them right and she acknowledged that she remembered that she, that's truth right and um, so i told her that's your hidden gifts and you may not fully uh, have not fully aligned with it yet but the more you use it and reflect on it and practice on it you will get it and that's a hidden hidden gifts and I share with her, I found my gifts, many, I know that, and many friends and uh, even colleagues and even like uh, team members recognize that to me. I told her, one of my clients told me I am the, like, give me testimonial. I am, she, he said that I am the female version of Tony Robbins. And that's a, such a big honor and also humbled me, right? Because Tony Robbins is my favorite, one of my favorite mentors and role models. And then when he said that, I was, oh, wow, thank you so much. I feel like inside, right, my butterflies. Uh, but also I feel like humbled, right? I really feel like, but at the same time, I recognize and also acknowledge myself that I have Tony Robbins kind of a passion, energy, really. So many people told me that, oh, you have outstanding passion. Wow, you are amazing. You have the passion through so many years. I was like, wow, I, I admire you have such kind of energy. And really, I have that abundance, energy, and passion through all these 14 years. Before that 14 years, before I really recognized what is my, uh, discovered my purpose, I also had an outstanding energy that other people, I just did not recognize that. But then I realized why I was more successful, excellent in my academic and also then in my um, like a career. Because I had that energy. I had that kind of a passion. 
even though even when I was not quite sure about my passion, right? I was passionate. I was always like uh, energetic. So that's my, I told my daughter, that's my gift. And I'm happy I revealed it. And also I have some, so many other hidden gifts, right? As a gift, it's not just like a Celine Dion's voice. Maybe it's not like immediately noticeable, but it's your hidden gifts. I said, you have uh, empathy, you, and so, oh, exceptional, I love to help people. I said, lots of gifts, right? Love to help people, that's a big gift. And so many of you, right, our original entrepreneurs, life changers, or coaches, you become a coach because you want to help other people, remember? That's actually outstanding gift. So maybe you feel like it's ordinary. I told my daughter, what do you think is ordinary? But for many other people, maybe it's not so easy. Not everybody wants to help everybody, right? So I told her, you have an outstanding gift. And she loves to do volunteer work. She loves to serve people. She loves to, like, for example, she loves to, uh, in her club, in the school, they have a, like an Asian, or maybe Chinese or Asian kind of like association. They, they sell like a bubble tea, they sell the tea, they do some fundraising, they do some kind of a, like, a, like a community services, they host the parties. She loves to serve and she has a big heart to serve. So I said, that's a big gift. And she has so many other great gifts. She loves to cooking. She, she's a gourmet taste, right? Like she loves to eat good food and gourmet food and she loves cooking, serve other people as well. That's a big gift. So it's just like we have so many hidden gifts. Majority of the time we did not even realize it, right? So you not time you need to hear other people give you feedback. I'm glad yesterday my daughter listened to me and then later she felt more positive. And um, so I also told her, right? See, you are lucky. You have a mom as a coach who could encourage you, who could inspire you, right? That's your gift as well. Like, oh, I know it's the outside gift, but inside gift, she got so many like um, hidden gifts including her, she's a, also an ambitious person. I said, your ambition and your like um, empathy, your heart to serve other people, right? That's all great gifts. Someday you will use that to serve other people more in a bigger way. It just be patient to yourself, right? So my more questions to you, it's like if you may ever feel like you're ordinary, I want to encourage you just like a story I share with my daughter. I want you to really write down today okay discover your hidden gifts listen to yourself even though you are not fully sure and then think about what other people give you feedback from your parents from your like um, your colleagues from your team members from your like uh, partners from your uh, like friends right what are they giving you some like a uh, some consistent message there right i believe every one of you could write down at least a few today i want to encourage you to write down 10 10, okay, or I, why I ask you to 10, because uh, a few days ago, I remember I listened to Adam and Lay, he's one of my mentors as well, he was sharing about some gifts, I remember 10, something like that, and he shared about like love, he shared about the passion, he shared about the hope, all those kind of gifts, right, those qualities, soft, soft, either skills, you call qualities, that's your gifts as well, I remember, right, I have my strongest gift, number one, definitely my love, I'm a loving person, I love I love everybody. No, I love everybody, including including my kids' dad, okay, including everyone who hurt me before. I, I forgive them. I love everyone. So now I have no have no enemy at all in this world. I love everyone. So every day I'm talking, I'm repeating to myself my my mission. I used to have the mission is to like, um, um, like it's have to be decided by other, by the world or by my outcomes, right? But now I set up, I clarified my mission. It's totally controllable by myself. So every day, in addition to my incantation, I will, I will, remind, I will remind myself my mission. My mission, every day I say, I love myself. My mission every day, okay? My mission is I love myself unconditionally. I reminded my daughter yesterday, I said, love yourself. Your number one mission to yourself should be love yourself unconditionally. And the second one, I told myself, I love the world, everyone, abundantly, abundantly. The third one is, I do what I love to do and give my best gift to the world every day. Okay, that's my top three. The three I combined together, that's my, that's my mission. And it's totally controllable. And I further remind myself, 
live every day with love, faith, passion, appreciation, abundance, joy, and victory. See, I come, I call it like, like seven, right? There's seven qualities I want to remind myself. Those are all what I could control. I could make that decision every day. So decide today your mission not to be decided by anything else or by other people, not by your clients, not by your partners, not by your family, only by you, okay? I want to remind you and write down your mission and also write down your top 10 gifts. To my gifts, all those ones I talked, right? All my gifts. And um, from love to energy to like a passion, all those things, persistence, like a patience. Now I have a patience. Initially, I did not really have that much patience. And also all these years of uh, life lessons and wisdom learning and the coaching practice. And now I can confidently say that I own patience now. Finally, right? Finally, years ago, nobody will say that I have the patience, especially my outside people may think I have patience, but my family members will definitely say I do not have patience. But now I have much, much more. Even though my daughter still think, don't think so, right? But my mom, from my mom and from um, my sister, they all think I have much more patience now. So at least I know I made a big progress. And uh, recently I also feel so proud of my persuasion. And I persuaded, for example, have helped my mom. She just lost her life partner, like an um, like, uh, intimate partner. And um, and uh, my, my mother-in-law also have some like stubborn, stubborn kind of a mindset of challenges, right? I helped the big families solve those issues and persuade them in very effective way. Persuade that other people are handling with them, right? And some like, a, like even real, like assets allocation, big things, right? I help them to solve it just in short 30, within one hour of um, communication, that kind of persuasion. So I feel so much proud of myself. I helped both my mom and my mother-in-law, right? The family issues and help them to get a peace, <laughs> get a harmony in two families and um, also I'm so proud of my now my openness to anything to anybody like people with different uh, mindset different perspective different religion different uh, like faith right all different perspective I'm, I'm totally open to anyone and my flexibility to anything wow I'm proud of myself now I have more than 10 kind of a hidden gifts now I'm all re revealed I'm so great so grateful and here now I want to remind everybody, this is super important to remember. And today, even though I'm talking about what's the best gifts, right? What are your best gifts to give? Not just one gift. We have everybody have multiple, multiple gifts. Many of them, many of them are still hidden. And even me, even though I could write over 10 gifts, right? I still feel like there's a knot. I have not revealed yet. Remember that those gifts for us to give were given to us first already. Okay, we are not just like, oh, giving all just out from ourselves to empty ourselves. It's not just like a Christmas gifts, right? We're now preparing gifts and now you feel like, oh, I'm spending so much money. <laughs> I will get out of my money. And now I have the family is ordering like a sashimi or sushi kind of a special treatment and uh, Christmas big feast and all this kind of things, right? And you feel like, oh, I'm paying so much. No, this kind of a gifts I'm talking about is unlimited unlimited gifts we were given first by gracious god by our creator or you have different uh, face it's fine total fine but a universal intelligence or our born gifts right all those gifts were given to us already and now it's our responsibility and you can also say it's our honor it's our blessing to give it out really that's why I hear it. so Believe that your hidden gifts, all your blessed gifts are blessings given to you unlimitedly <laughs> with the source beyond us, bigger than us, more powerful than us, superior than us, right? So we will have endless, abundant, like a never ending resource and a source to get that gifts for us to give to this world. So every day, be grateful. Really every day, every morning when I wake up, my morning routine is always my abundance meditation. I will have the incantation. Thank God, you know, I, I will say, I will do that incantation. I will say, when I was still lying on my bed, I will say that 
I am a blessed angel. I am coaching and transforming millions of lives. I am abundant every day in everything. I am here for the abundance of all. I am destined for greatness. I am a blessing to the world. I am love. I am faith. I am appreciation. I am abundance. I am victory. I have abundant wealth and freedom. I love and serve God and people. Money loves me and serves me. I am the master of time and money. I am the goddess of abundance. So every day I'm talking about this, right? I feel like I am invincible. I am unlimited. I am abundant. I am fearless. I am unstoppable. Okay? So it's just like every day repeat that to yourself. So that's why today I want to encourage you write down your yes. Okay? Either including like a the ones you've already realized before, that's blessed, right? And now I want you to keep working more here and here from your heart to reveal, reveal more. Write down at least 10 and uh, review them, repeat them, talk to yourself, talk to God, talk to the world, right? In whatever way you want. And in like every day you can use the abundance meditation, use the meditation way to remind yourself every day align with your gift. And then think about what's the best ways you could give them to this world. So I am through, for example, now I'm doing this Momentum Monday. I'm so grateful. I have this platform. I have so, uh, social media, right, to share my message. I'm so super grateful. And uh, through my coaching, I can help and coaching people and to empower people. And through my uh, Facebook group and inking group, Abundant Entrepreneurs, I can empower my members, our regional entrepreneurs and life changers. And through my, for example, LinkedIn, newsletter I can share with people and through my YouTube channel I can empower people and through my interview of like abundance the you interview the dreams interview I could uh, not just uh, highlight those great people's dreams and their life lessons and also at the same time lift them up and also inspire other people so I'm super super grateful every day for all those gifts to me and all these kind of opportunities to me and all these platforms to me and also now AI, right? We have more tools, wonderful tools in this world to enable us to give our gifts out every day. So don't be stingy, okay? Remember that? Don't be stingy. Now you do not really need to spend some really like money, right? Paper money or currency. Just give your give your gift. Even give your like a message, give your story, give your passion, give your love, give your encouragement, give your hope. Give whatever, like uh, anything's positive, okay, from you. Even just like, for example, today, um, I'm so grateful. Yesterday we had a big rain, right? There's so, so many accidents. We prayed for those accident people and for people's safety, for people's um, well-being. And today now, we're, like uh, earlier today, we had a big sunlight. I was so grateful. We, we, were, we were receiving, you know, we are receiving so much, so much more than the gifts we got we can and we are giving remember the sunlight the air fresh fresh air after pandemic right so grateful and uh, you know plants the nature surrounding us and uh, all the things around me i feel like so grateful every day be grateful okay and so many things we we even could not see or even like uh, taking granted and um, take it like just like uh, not not notice anymore right but those are gifts for us we are receiving much, much more than what we are giving to this world. So I hope today you feel so much more grateful than before you listen to this message. Then I will feel so blessed and feel so honored to encourage you. Okay, and remember to write down your 10 gifts and review it every day through your meditation and through your incantation or affirmation, whichever way you call it, every day remind yourself you have those gifts and every day remind yourself and keep exploring new creative ways to give your gifts to this world so i wish every one of you will enjoy this holiday season and uh, we will now how many days we have how many days to count down quickly let me quickly check my calendar and i'm still keep reading i need to remind myself to read more i need to finish the niche pen the last book and for this 2023, not really last book, right? But the book for 2023. And uh, today, let's say it's 11th, it's December 11th. We have, uh, let's say, uh, let's say two weeks plus one day, that's 14, 15, including today, okay? 
uh, it's uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 days to go, everybody. 21 days. We need to get back to our counting down. I, I think I will remind myself to get back to counting down for my reading and for my um, the 2023's uh, gifts giving every day. So every day, don't uh, hide behind your computer, okay? Get in front of it. Show up. Give the message out, give your best, give your heart, give your love, give your message, give your inspiration, serve, and provide your offer. Last week we were talking about what's your best offer to provide, right? So give your offer. What the services, your products, your programs, give your offer. Make more offer every day, okay? And just be there. Be out there to serve people with from your hidden messages from your gifts from your invisible to your visible gifts okay so and uh, by the way i will look for i will share let's see every time i will remember to have a call to action today's call to action is definitely write down your 10 gifts okay start to do your meditation if you do not have the daily habits yet make sure you do that and i will look forward that you will comment under my video wherever you're looking at it, you're watching it okay comment under a video let me know what's share what's your 10 gifts and if you are doing the meditation since now and what's your morning and night routine i do both morning and night okay and if you have needed any support if you have any problem or questions feel free to ask me and i will look forward to supporting you through today through the rest of 2023 and beyond okay become and look forward that you will become the best version of you and that you will reveal your best gifts that every day you can give it. And let me know. Okay, I look forward to hearing your love and also your gift stories. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, keep in touch. Let me know your story. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.